Hi guys, I haven't posted a video in a while, um, but today I am working on my medicine cabinet and this is it and I apologize for the shaky footage. It's not the best, so I'm going to try to make this video nice and short. So this is my medicine cabinet. I keep this in our kitchen um, and normally I know medicine cabinets are in bathrooms, but the heat and the moisture is just not good for the kind of stuff that you're keeping in a medicine cabinet so we keep ours here and it's right above my desk which i've done a video on before and the reason i'm cleaning it out is because i want to put those cold packs that are sitting there in the medicine cabinet and i have no room it's just a mess um, i can't actually find anything in here which is a pretty common theme um, in a lot of the spaces in my house. So I think this is gonna be pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna remove everything that's in here and take it out, sort it, and then hopefully when I'm done sorting, I'll have a lot less stuff that's gonna go back in here. So the first step is to just take everything out and start sorting. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so everything is out of the cabinet and on my kitchen table. And I have four, I had four shelves in the cabinet. I have four categories of things. And I think at some point I, I knew that I wanted to separate things into categories, um, but I just, I didn't do it. So I've done it now. So in the front on the right are my supplements. On the left are um, prescription medications and over-the-counter stuff. And then in the back on the left, I have things like um, band-aids and sunscreen and ointments and stuff like that. And then in the back on the right are miscellaneous things. Um, these are like thermometers and nail cutters and things like that, that I just keep in there because it just makes sense to keep it in the medicine cabinet. And so I haven't, I haven't purged anything yet though. So this is everything that was in there. So the next step is to look at expiration dates and start purging things. Now I wrote a whole blog post about this you don't necessarily have to purge things that are expired and there's a reason for that um, they have to put dates on the bottles and the packaging but it doesn't necessarily mean that the things are expired so i wrote a whole explanation for that and i will link it down in the description but um I'm going to be getting rid of these things because I just don't want them anymore. So my next step is to purge what I don't want. Okay, so here's a good example of how much I had in my medicine cabinet that I didn't need. The stuff on the yellow tray is what I'm keeping and the stuff on the right is what I'm getting rid of. There was a lot. And so I'm predicting I'm going to have a lot more room in there. Uh, so I'm just going to keep purging. I'm going to keep taking out expired stuff and then I'll come, I'll put everything back. Okay. So here is the finished medicine cabinet and I managed to purge a ton of stuff and I have a lot more room in here to keep all of my medicine cabinet supplies. And this first shelf is, um, these are my supplements. So I keep, I keep everything that I use on a daily basis in, on this first shelf. And I was going to label it, but I figured I only have four categories, so it was easy enough, um, to find what I need in here. So I think, and especially having, I have this little wire organizer, I think that helps. 
and the second shelf has my medication so prescription on the left and over-the-counter on the right and then in the middle I have allergy meds um, so again I could have put things in containers to try to separate them but I don't have that much in here so I didn't see the point on the top on that uh, third shelf I have ointments, uh, lotions, alcohol, peroxide, band-aids, um, things like that. And I didn't talk about it that much, but this wire organizer down here, it's a three-tiered organizer. And so you can sort of see things in the back. I already had it, which is why I'm using it in here. And I got another one, which again, I got for free on Facebook. Um, and I put it up, up here. So you know, it's just, it gives it another uh, level. So if I want to put smaller things up there, I can. And then the top shelf is just miscellaneous stuff, bigger boxes that I don't use all that often. You know, the nail cutters and things like that are up there. And um, it's just stuff that I, I use less of. And so I figured it would be fine up there. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is my organized medicine cabinet and I apologize for the shaky footage <laughs> I had to record this with my iPhone um, and it was dark out so even with lighting I didn't have the best um, footage of this but um, this is how it turned out and it was pretty straightforward organizing project um, it took me you know, maybe an hour and a half to do. Um, and I will link the blog post down below. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.